with you guys got another action cam review here this one is from db power and uh, it's a 4k action camera and we're going to take a look at it in this video now this one does come with a 20 megapixels also 4k at 24 frames per second 170 degrees of angle view 64 gigabytes tf card acceptance wi-fi 30 meters under the water it can go and this one has a touch screen on it which is a new for these action type cameras now all these specs are on the screen here you can pause the video at this stage and read all that information uh, but pretty much uh, what i've said there is uh, what this uh, action camera can do now this is what you're going to get in the box uh, when you get your uh, action camera you can see you've got your user manual here from db power the user manual is going to help you set up your camera and how to uh, get everything set up the way you like. It's in English and there is some uh, pictures in there to help you set it up. It's very uh, easy to understand. Now you're also going to get your uh, charging cable here. Use your USB charging cable, uh, some straps here and also some tires and uh, wipe, screen wipe and also some 3M tape in there. There is some crash helmet mounts here with some 3M tape on there and also some other type mounts here you can see and brackets. There's uh, quite a lot here. There's also uh, a bicycle uh, or motorbike handle uh, mounting bracket there and some other brackets here. Now you're gonna get two of these uh, batteries inside here and uh, these are pretty decent batteries. Now this has two 1200 milliamp batteries so you can charge one while you're using one. So let's take a look at the actual camera itself. Now this is a new addition for 2017. As you can see, much more smaller and sleeker design, uh, but it still has that waterproof casing on there, which is good enough up to 30 meters. You have a Sony sensor with seven layers of glass lenses in there. And also it has a 170 degree wide perspective lens on there as well. Now you have this bracket here, which you can change by unscrewing this screw and change it out with some of the other brackets that you've got and you can also uh, remove the uh, waterproof housing there if you want to. Now you can see we've got a couple of uh, function buttons on the side here and as you can see on the top we have another button here which is to uh, start recording as a action button here. Now we have a 2.31 LCD touchscreen lens on this so they've gone all touchscreen now and also to release this uh, waterproof housing you're just going to have to release this little latch here and pull it back it's a real simple design and this will open up the back uh, door and you can pull out your uh, actual action camera by just giving it a little shake there now, as you can see here this is a really nice sleek looking uh, action cam and you can see the waterproof housing is fully sealed so you can uh, sink this under the water or even in a pool or in the sea it should be fine just give it a good in the sea to get rid of any salt residue so let's take a closer look at the camera. As you can see, we have a beautiful touch screen on this one now. So these are all the more modern types, the ones with a touch screen. You can see it's all uh, written on the screen here so you know where to touch and I'll show you that uh, once we get to that part of the video. We have a standard um, tripod mount here which is a nice added feature for this particular uh, type of uh, action cam. We have the battery bay here and you've got one battery in already in there and also you have another one so you can charge that one up as well now also at the bottom here we outside of it we've got another little bay here which i'm going to pull open so behind this little door here we have our micro uh, sd card and also a usb charging port and our hdmi mini hdmi port here and also our microphone here on the side so you just need to put these back and normally these don't come with little uh, uh, bays on them, bay doors on them, they just normally have them visible uh, but in this newer model they seem to have uh, put these little covers on them. Now you can see the rubber coating on the outside which gives it that nice durability. We have a little action button here to take snapshots and also uh, start the recording and uh, also around here at the front we have our little cover on our lens. We have this nice chrome looking band going around the outside of it and this nice uh, sort of a gunmetal grey uh, look to the actual action cam which gives it a really nice posh look and the DB Power logo on the front there and the chrome around the actual lens as well so you can see our little menu button here on the side which you can function through here and our power button and uh, you also can use the touch screen which I'll show you uh, in a second so let's get this uh, powered on here and uh, we'll take a closer look at the actual camera once it's powered on 
So let's push the uh, power on button here and we should get some sort of display on the back. And there we go, it's just gonna start to boot up now. And there we are, uh, we're all ready up and going. Now also you can see here, we can touch the screen. It tells you on the screen what to do, where to push. And you can see it's giving you some indications. So it does tell you these things and it also speaks to you as well. So it does have an actual uh, voice mode to it. So you can just also push this button here to enter the menu. You can see here, click here to start recording. And uh, as you can see, very useful to have a touch screen here. Uh, click here to set the re resolution. And you can also swipe as well, swipe to the left and swipe to the right and swipe up and down to access the menu. We'll have, have a closer look once we get past this tutorial part here and we'll have a closer look at the actual menu itself. So here we are, we're on the menu. So the menu is nicely clearly uh, laid out here. We can see size and W, uh, DR and EV. So click on these on the screen and you can see we can do loop recording. We can set this up and you can scroll through here if you wish. And you can also go into size and change the size of the video format that you want to do. You can see 1080p at 60 frames per second. If you want to do uh, 24 frames per second, Ultra HD at 4K, you can do that. And also WDR is uh, off and you can uh, turn that on if you wish. And you can go through the menu just like this and add in what you like. You can see exposure value, so you can up the exposure value and also lower the exposure value if you want. And you just swipe to go on to the next page and then it gives you access to other parts of the menu. Motion detection, you can either turn this on or off. And also you can see record audio and also date stamp, that's on. And also we got the angle, so 170 degrees, you can turn that down if you wish. And also we're going to go to the last one here, which is video gyroscope. And you can put this on. This is going to be uh, for the anti-shake and stuff like that. So if you've got any shaking going on, it will deal with that as well. Time lapse record off 100 milliseconds, 200 milliseconds and so on. And uh, image rotation where you can rotate your image on the camera. And that's pretty much that. So that's how you can access the settings on your menu. It's all touch screen, you can see. So it's all modernized and I think it looks absolutely stunning. And here is some video footage for you. So the video footage I took was in 4K and I was just uh, putting it on here just to show you what it looks focus. like. I think it's really vibrant and very uh, good looking picture. It's probably one of the best action cams that I've looked at so far. And this was a really overcast day, cloudy and rainy. And you can see it's got good definition uh, on the clouds and stuff like that. And it's not blown out or washed out enough. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. It really does. For this sort of price point, which I think is about 109 English pounds, uh, which is a fair bit of money for an action cam. But when you get this sort of quality, uh, you're looking at a much better camera here. Now also here, you can see I'm walking around and I'm using a, a gimbal. Uh, as you can see, that's why it's really, really smooth. Uh, but I did that video yesterday and you'll be able to see that if you want to watch it. Just go back and watch that one. And as you can see, pretty good quality picture. Now I didn't do any other testing with any sort of other uh, quality uh, video. I just left it on 4K because I think that's exactly what you're going to be buying this for. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope you liked it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching guys and I shall see you again in another video real soon. Bye for now.